Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Watkins. Apologies for the uh, technical difficulties, but I think we've got it all straightened out with the audio. I'm uh, really delighted to be able to spend some time with you today talking about um, the first 90 days virtual program at IMD. Um, a little bit of quick background on me. So I'm a professor of leadership and organizational change at IMD. I'm also uh, the co-founder of Genesis, which is a leadership development company um, based in Boston. And I basically work on helping people make successful leadership transitions. And so in addition to doing programs like this, I also coach people pretty extensively. These days it's pretty much um, C-level executives taking new roles. Um, sometimes that can be an internal promotion, you know, from CFO, say, or COO to CEO, or it can be an external hire, you know, a variety of, of, of situations. Um, a little bit of background. So this is a program that was until before the crisis delivered as a two-day in-person program, but um, we've done a complete conversion of it to a fully virtual program. And actually, in many ways, it's a great program to do fully virtually because you can space it out a little bit more. You can do it just in time. You don't have to travel to um, to take it on. And so I'm really excited, actually, about the, the opportunity to do it virtually. I really don't anticipate ever uh, going back to an in-person mode after this. Um, what you see at the bottom are the very gifted coaches that are going to be supporting the program. As I'll talk about in a few minutes, a important part of the program is going to be um, daily small group coaching sessions and individual co uh, coaching sessions. And so part of the way that we're really leveraging the technology is giving you an opportunity to get much deeper, truthfully, than you could have in the two-day program through the mode of doing this coaching, right? Coaching in small groups with peers, coaching. Uh, one-on-one. -on -one. These are all trained transition coaches. They're folks that come from the Genesis side of things. Um, and, you know, the Genesis's business is essentially to help people make successful transitions. And so these are part of the coaching network uh, of Genesis. Um, terrific people, very experienced in helping people make successful transitions into, uh, into new roles. So a little bit, the, you know, I mentioned the formats now. Uh, you know, fully virtual. We're going to be delivering the program in, uh, on our sort of, you know, now ubiquitous uh, video platform, Zoom. But I can assure you that it's going to be very interactive, right? You're not going to be sitting through long, you know, dissertations of content. There's going to be plenty of virtual breakout groups. We'll really, you know, also be going into group coaching, individual coaching. And so, you know, we're, we're, now quite experienced in designing programs that have a very strong interactivity uh, to them, but delivered completely through the virtual uh, the virtual modality. Um, so it, I think it's important to be precise about who this program is for, and it's really for people that are either in the process of going into a new role, you're already in it for a month, two, three, or you're about to, right? And so, and that new role could be brand new role in the organization. You could be joining a new organization. You could be taking over a, a, a new project or a new set of responsibilities. Even if your title's not changing, you could be trying to take your team in new directions. But the key thing really here is that we work a lot with your own situations in some depth. And that means, and I want to really emphasize this, that you need to have a reasonably good understanding of the transition situation. It's, per, it's completely acceptable if you're just about to go into a new role to come and do the program. In fact, it's a wonderful time to do it because you can really launch yourself into the new role. But you need to understand enough about the role to be able to, you know, have good conversations, engage in the right sort of thinking about that, about that new role. So, you know, it, this program is absolutely for leaders that are in transition or about to be. It's not for folks that are planning to support people taking new roles. That's actually a really important point because you're going to be in small group discussions with peers, and we are very careful to match people with leaders at the same level, talking about your transition situations. And it's not very interesting, you know, if you're actually not in transition. Um, it, it's not a good use of your time. It's, it's not a good use of, uh, of, of the other people who are in transition in, 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 the, in the group. So strong recommendation that you're either, you know, a month, two, three into a new role. That's an opportunity to step back, take stock, really think about what you've done so far how you're going to propel yourself forward, or, you know, you're going into a new role, but have a pretty good sense of what you're going to be uh, up against. 
Um, why transitions are so critical, I hopefully don't have to say very much about this, right? Be they're critical because all the research and practice shows that it's absolutely essential to get off to a good start because people are forming opinions of you early, you know, your credibility gets built or lost with remarkable speed in a new role. You can do things to help really launch yourself and create momentum, or, and I've seen this unfortunately happen, you can make some early mistakes, you know, perhaps not do a good job with some key relationships, and it can start a quite negative spiral that if it goes on too long, can be very, very difficult to, to reverse. Um, that saying by Will Rogers you see on the screen, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. The reality is you don't even get a first chance to make a first impression because you typically come in with a reputation. People are already, you know, even before you arrive uh, in the role, forming impressions of you. And so you need to pay real, you know, in-depth attention to how you're going to launch yourself on a, on a good trajectory. And that's really the goal of the program is to help you think about how to do that. Or if you've gotten off with a you know a trajectory that isn't ideal, taking stock and really getting yourself back into the into the mix in the way that you you, you want to. Um, so you know this is some early research that I did um, when I was starting you know more than 15 years ago, studying transitions, helping leaders make transitions. I really started looking at what were common mistakes or common traps that leaders fall into. And, you know, you look at this list, for, if you're an experienced leader, you may think, oh, my gosh, at some point I've fallen into every one of those, right? Um, but I just want to emphasize that there are a few key things here to think about, right? Sticking with what you know, you know, it's the old Marshall Goldsmith Smith maxim, what got you here won't necessarily get you there. Um, what do you need to do differently, perhaps, to be successful? I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, coming in with the answer, right? Coming in with your mind already made up when... People may need to be taken on a journey. And in fact, that's an important point, which is transitions into new roles are also about taking teams through transitions typically. And they're often also, certainly in the work I do, the leading edge of transformation in organizations, right? It's not many senior leaders that are put in place, you know, with a mandate to leave things alone, everything's fine, right? So it's a natural progression as we work with leaders in transition to start working with them with their teams and then to begin you know, to engage in transformation journeys. This program is not gonna go into the transformation part of this in depth, but we'll certainly be touching on it. We'll be definitely talking quite a bit about the team, the team uh, assessment and reshaping part of the, of the equation. Um, results, right? I mean, I, I'm really fortunate, I have to say, to have had my work have a really big impact on people. You know, you, you, you sort of think you're fortunate if you can have a 10% impact help people be 10% better at something, you know, that's a pretty big deal. But the research here has shown quite definitively that the right application of my methodology can lead to half the time to, uh, you know, full performance that it normally would take. And this has been validated in a number of, uh, of studies. I should mention, by the way, there is a questions feature in um, GoToWebinar uh, on the panel. And I really welcome questions at any time here. You don't need to wait to the end. <clears throat> if you've got a question, just feel free to, to um, type it in and I'll, I'll try to thread it into the, uh, the overall uh, discussion. So types of transitions, right? One thing that I believe very deeply is that you need to understand that you're probably, as a leader taking a new role, going through multiple types of transitions in parallel. And so one piece of work we'll do is to really pull that apart and say, well, which of you know, these as an example are you experiencing? And what are the implications, right? What does that mean for what you really need to focus on? What part of this overall transition you're going through is really, um, really challenging? You know, that's a, a key piece of work that we'll be doing, uh, you know, certainly early on. Um, highly interactive virtual experience, right? So um, fortunately, fortunately, Genesis as an organization was a completely virtual organization before the COVID-19 crisis hit. And so we were already way up the curve working virtually. Um, we'd done a, quite a bit of virtual delivery of our programs globally. And so it wasn't a huge leap for us to begin to, you know, do a good job of delivering something like this virtually. The key thing is to make it interactive, to make it engaging, right? 
it, it, you don't want to be sitting through yet another, you know, Zoom call where 79% of the time you're not engaged in what's going on. And that's certainly not going to be the case with this, right? We will be introducing some concepts and tools, but you'll also be get, getting a chance to familiarize with, with some of those before you even come to the session. So we don't need to spend a huge amount of time doing that. We're really going to prioritize deeper understanding. We're really going to prioritize application. We're really going to prioritize working in smaller groups a significant amount of the time with case studies, with small group coaching to keep, to keep it interactive, to keep it stimulating. Um, we've also quite intentionally, you know, set this up as I'll talk in a minute for morning sessions, you know, Central European time that, you know, are not so long that they're going to drag too much. Um, and also to give you an opportunity to, you know, thread work into your day two so you don't have to take a complete, you know, chunk of time off. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we as we go forward. I think critically too, in line with that notion that you're there to focus on your transition, either the one you've started or the one you're about to begin, you're gonna come away with very concrete plans, right? You're gonna be very clear by the end of this program what your next 90 days are going to all be all about, for example, right? And so it's very much a pragmatic, you know, sort of performance support process that you're going to be going through here and not just about concepts um, and, and tools. So good. So track record success, I, you know, I always get mildly embarrassed putting stuff like this up, I should tell you, right? But this is a program that in its, you know, uh, in-person uh, incarnation has been a very successful program. It's had a big impact on people. I still get emails from people, you know, all the time actually that have gone through the program and said this was great or this has really helped me or that particular concept was really useful for me. And so, you know, and also on the IMD website, there's some, you know, endorsements and things you can read about the program. I frankly think that the virtual program is going to be as good or better right, because of the opportunity to leverage some of the possibilities that weren't really possible with uh, the in-person program, for example, the intensity of the coaching that's going to happen in this, uh, in this new version. So basic frameworks of the program, we call it the transition roadmap. This is a framework that I designed but has really been improved, iterated, you know, um, over time to the point where it's a very solid framework for thinking about how to plan your transitions. It's got these eight activities associated with it. We'll be digging into each of those pieces in some depth. I'm not gonna go through the, the framework now. Aside to say, look, the, the left-hand side, those turquoise boxes, that's all about how you really understand what you're up against, right? How you're gonna create value in your new role. The middle piece is about establishing direction for yourself, your team, the right-hand side is really about how you're going to have an impact in the organization. It says build your team, but often what's happening is you're inheriting a team and needing to assess and reshape that team. We'll talk about credibility and how you build credibility, how you get early wins, how you arrive effectively in, in a new organization. And of course, we'll spend some time on the critical stakeholder piece, right? How do you create those alliances that are really necessary to sustain you, right, and, and allow you to have an impact? And underneath it all is this process of managing yourself through what can be, yes, often a very exciting, you know, wow, cool new role, but also almost inevitably at some points very frustrating process as you're not making the progress you want to. And so how do you think about, for example, managing your energy through, you know, what can be a significant um, length of time, which reminds me, I, always, I meant to say something earlier, right, which is the first 90 days is about how to use that early period in a role effectively. It's not the transitions take 90 days, right? Some people, you know, think that I, I said that, I never said that. What I want you to do is, is to be able to really get off to a great start, right? And 90 days is just a convenient um, period of time to be thinking about it. If you're coming to the program already, you know, some distance into your new role, then it's really about the next 90 days, right? What is it, what are you gonna do to really propel yourself forward powerfully in the context of the next 90 days in, in, in your role. So program structure, this is a little bit convoluted, so but I want you to focus on the bottom left first. So we're gonna do four three and a half hour sessions. Each one is gonna involve some case discussions. We've got some great cases that you can focus on of real life situations that I've written up 
uh, and you can kind of grapple with. We're going to give you some key concepts. We're going to do it in a really interactive and I think interesting way. We'll give you a chance to do some individual reflection and planning. So we've got some great journaling, basically acceleration plans, we call them, that you can take a little bit of time to reflect about your own situation. Small group coaching with those great coaches that I mentioned to you earlier. And then in the afternoon, a chance to do the one-to-one -one coaching sessions and also, of course, prepare yourself for the next, uh, the next day. Um, upcoming programs. So the next program, which is already fortunately getting you know, a, a good uh, fill up, uh, June 15 to 18, but there's still some slots available in that program. And then September 28th to October 1 and November 23 to 25. The key thing again here is to time this so that it's gonna sort of hit the window of maximum impact for you. You know, first three or four months in the, in the role is fine, right? It can be a great way to take stock and really push yourself forward. You know, a month or two before you take the role, also fine, so long as you have a good enough sense of what you're up against. You can apply the ideas to begin to create a plan for what you're gonna do before you actually arrive, because that's critical, and then in those first 90 days after you, you, you do so. Um, Post-program acceleration options, so there's a couple of things you can do if you want to uh, continue beyond the, the, the basic four-day process. There's next 90 days coaching you can engage in. We certainly are happy to do in-company virtual programs around the framework if that's helpful for you. So we can, we can talk about that during the program if that's of, uh, of interest to you. So summing up, right, I think you're, if you come to the program, you're going to have a great experience. It's going to be stimulating. You're not just going to learn a lot, you're going to learn to apply some very powerful ideas and frameworks and tools to, to dramatically accelerate your transition into your new role. And you'll emerge with very concrete plans for what you, uh, what you need to accomplish. And so with that, I'm going to pause and just see if there's any questions. Um, and if you have questions, just please type them in the question pane. And um, yeah, so, so one question is, will the WIS webinar and slides be recorded and shared out? And the answer is absolutely. You will be receiving a link to the recording uh, of this webinar that, of course, includes the, the slides, Jenny. So great question. Any other questions out there? Anything you, you know, you, I, you could, um, I can help you sort of think about or questions about the program, things you want to know about me. Um, I'd be more than happy to, to do that. How does one register for the June 15 session? MJ, if you're on the line, do you want to say a little bit about that? Um, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, sorry, Michael. Yeah, happy to help. Yeah. Um, so basically, following this webinar, I'll send out an email and I'll include in that contact details for um, the, the people on the IMD side who are in charge of enrolling people. Um, and, and you can also uh, go directly to IMD's website. Um, and I've I've already typed in the URL in the chat box there, but I'll do it again, um, and I'll remind you as well at the end of the session. So we'll put you right in touch with the people you need to be in touch with at IMD so that you can register to enroll. Terrific. Thank you, MJ, very yeah. much. Um, so there's a question about the cost of the program, which I think I just answered. To see if there's any other questions here. Doesn't seem it. Listen, you know, I'm always happy to connect and just, you know, tell you more about the program or answer questions. The best way typically to get a hold of me is through LinkedIn, right? So I manage my own LinkedIn um, messaging. And so, you know, feel free to connect with me, Michael Watkins, on LinkedIn if you've got additional questions that I can answer. And with that, I think we'll close things off. Um, hope you found this helpful and interesting. I look forward to seeing some of you uh, in the first 90 days virtual program at IMD. And thanks very much.